What is up guys, this is Kubowack here, and today we are having a very special episode of Pixelmon Worlds. Obviously, as you could tell, it's not in the first person for once, and this is because this is a little bit of a lore background filler episode. And I'm going to be doing a few of these just because I was thinking, hey, there could be a lot more to this series than the average person would see in it. And, of course, you wouldn't be able to know all of the lore and all the background of everything unless I told you. So, if you guys like this kind of video, make sure to let me know down in the comments. And also, make sure to go back and watch Tuesday's video, or the last video, episode 7, to avoid any spoilers that may come out of this. Because some spoilers might come out, some confusion might come about. But, um, now with that spoiler warning, I am just going to get right into this. So... When the universe was created, there were many, many worlds. The one you're looking at right now is just one of them, which is called Home Island. And with these many, many worlds were many, many people. But all these worlds were very small, considering there was hundreds on thousands of them. So there was not much strength supporting them because they were all very small and uh, the communities, of course, were small too. And eventually these worlds began to die out and pretty much everybody from these worlds were dispersed and they ended up in three different worlds that became the big worlds and these worlds will be explained later in the series but for now all you have to know is that they ended up in three big worlds so through the process keep in mind this was very very long ago but through this process of worlds disappearing and these three big new worlds being created there was of course not nobody knew each other because they were all sent from one world they were all split up from their previous families and friends and sent to meet new people in new lands i mean of course some people probably knew each other at the beginning but very soon there was a lot of people and there was bigger cities and the small civilizations that had been built before and it was just crazy and chaotic but eventually they got the hang of it and these three new worlds were established and they created cities and paths and they pretty much just became um like the planet earth that you know from real life is what these is what these worlds became their own earths their own their own planets almost uh, as to speak except they were in completely different realms but all connected in the same universe so at the beginning all the worlds were connected considering people needed to have a way to go from one world to another they were unaware that they were transferring but they were so the worlds were somehow connected but down the line these worlds became sealed off from each other again but the link was still there it wasn't like the Link had just disappeared completely and they were stuck in their world forever. It's just nobody knew the secret to, to opening the Link to get to other worlds. So uh, eventually down the line, through the generations, hundreds of years and thousands of years later, the history of the beginning of the worlds kind of got lost and the very, very ancient ancestors are now forgotten. But a lot of people still remember the history of their own world, just not the history of the worlds in general, in the universe. So each world has its own history, and its own scripture, and its own culture, and everything now at this point. And of course each world has many different cities, and many different biomes, and all of that stuff for the most part. But, of course the history is lost now, so nobody knows about the link except very very few people and those people will also be explained much much later but that is all i could say for now without spoiling too much if you guys have any questions if you feel like i missed anything feel free to ask in the comments and if i can answer without spoiling anything i will um you could go ahead and give your guesses as to what these three worlds were what the worlds were beforehand and all of that stuff but i just wanted to make this quick video to try this out um the later videos of this the special edition episodes will have more to look at than just the same old stuff it'll be a lot more um creative jumping back and forth and it will be a lot cooler this one i'm kind of i'm kind of rushed on time for this one so yeah but 
Um, if you did not see episode 7 again and you decided to watch this video anyways, because there was not too many spoilers, except for the fact that there are more worlds, <laughs> well then make sure to go and check that out. And if you didn't already know that, also let me know in the comments, because I know a few people have already told me. If you have already figured out the concept of more than one world in this series, then make sure to leave that in the comments too, because some people already did, and they told me after seeing the newest episode, like, oh, um, I figured this out, but yeah, now you guys know. Now you guys know some of the history, so if you guys like this kind of video, once again, just let me know, and I will be doing a lot of different stuff. An example, I will be doing character bios for characters from certain parts of the series, such as who we saw, Raiga Hasuna, Tamuchi, Athey and Jones, everybody. I, I don't know if I could do a character bio for everybody, but I will be doing some character biographies with some history about the character and all that for a lot of more important characters. And yeah, so just let me know guys if you have any suggestions for other special episodes with lore and whatnot. Go ahead and let me know, but I, I actually really enjoyed uh, making this episode just because as I'm making this series, I'm sorry I'm going like way um, longer than I expected to just talking about random stuff, but as I'm making this series and I am creating all of this and writing the storyline pretty much, I actually think in my head the whole time while I'm making up every episode's um, saga and their story arc, I'm always thinking about lore as well. Because as an anime fan, even though I'm a new anime fan, anime always has lore and they have filler episodes for it. And I figured that that would be a cool thing to implement into my own series as well to get you guys more connected. And to kind of make the series even more um, enjoyable in a way because it actually has um, beef to it. It actually has substance. It's not just, oh, this is happening and you will never know why. You just have to go with the flow. I actually like having a background. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like to show your support. And as always, my name is Kiwak. I am signing out, and I will see you guys next time. Peace!